Hey everybody, Keith Brown, Tack Room Devotional. The last couple weeks we've been talking about wisdom, and this is practical wisdom that we, we can, can receive right from the book of Proverbs. King Solomon wrote all these little tidbits down for us, and even though they seem so simple, they are so profound, and we need to apply them to our life. And uh, so last week we talked about using our money wisely. This week I want to talk about uh, picking your friends wisely, okay? Look with me at Proverbs chapter 17 and verse 17. It says, a friend loves at all times, and a brother is born for adversity. In the uh, Message Bible, it says this, friends love through all kinds of weather, and families stick together in all kinds of trouble. The uh, TEV uh, uh, translation says, Friends always show their love. What are the brothers for if not to share trouble? So we share in our troubles and, a, and, and um, a friend loves at all times. In other words, loves unconditionally. Amen? Uh, loves sacrificially. And we're going to get into that more and more this week as we go along. Um, it's been said that he who has a friend is the possessor of one of the best gifts that life can bring to an individual. Why? Because a friend loves at all times. And I don't know if you've ever had a really, really, really close friend. I am so fortunate because my brother, my older brother and I have always been very close. And so he's a brother, but he's also a very close friend. And what a great combination to have. My younger brother, who was seven years younger than me, because of the of the difference in age, we never really w were able to be that close of friends uh, because we didn't have things in common. And, and but my, other, my older brother and I have a great time. You know, friendships can bring people closer together than even kinship. Um, look with me at Matthew chapter 12. Yeah, Matthew chapter 12. And we'll look at verse 50. And this is in red letter, so this is Jesus talking. And he says, for whoever does the will of my Father in heaven is my brother and my sister and my mother's. I, I mean, my mother. Now, there were people telling Jesus that your mother and brother and sisters outside waiting for you. And he was trying to show here, whoever does the will of the Father, whoever does the word, does, does what the Father, his Father says, is my true brother and sister in the Lord. Amen? Um, in describing the friends who stick closer than a brother in Proverbs chapter 18, verse 24, uh, the, the teacher warns against a superficial approach to making friends. Look with me at that. Uh, Proverbs 18 and verse 24. A man who has friends must himself be friendly, but there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. And uh, again, that's, that's amazing to think because you would think that our relationship with our, with our siblings would be much stronger than our relationship with a friend. And yet, a true friend, one that, it, it, and we're going to talk about this all this week, a true friend becomes closer than a brother. Um, however, when we're talking about brothers sometimes, for instance, in the Bible, we work, we call each other brothers. We're brothers in Christ. We have a, a relationship. So when we use the word friend and brother, many times they're used kind of in the same way. Um, the true friend is the same as a brotherly relationship. And at times of diversity, the strength of a true friendship is, uh, displayed between the two. Somebody once said that, the, that friends are like good health. You don't realize what a blessing they are until you lose them. Amen. And I, I know for a fact that sometimes you, you, know, you get real close to somebody and the next thing you know either their family moves out of town or you move out of town and boy it's, it's 
kind of a heartbreak. Um, so a true friend, and I'm talking about a true friend, one, one that you can get close to and share, um, you know, personal things with and know that they've got your back, that's a true friend. So let's ask the question, what is a friend? Friends are people with whom you dare to be yourself. Amen. And uh, they're also, you do not have to be on guard when you're with a true friend. Why? Because again, you know that they got your back. They got your best interest at heart. Okay, so that's a couple real simple things we all know about friendship. We're going to pick this up again tomorrow. Remember, Jesus loves you. I love you. I pray that God would richly bless you as you diligently seek him and serve him.